The main official is Amanda, the linesman is Christopher, and Amen for today's match. As we get ready to rumble today, the weather doesn't look to seem to be that bad, but it's a bit gloomy with a little bit of rain, so it's going to be a bit slippery on the field, but let's see how it is for the players tonight. Starting goalkeeper for the Durham Lords is number 13, Garrett Werner, and the starting goalkeeper for the Seoul College is number one, Alessandro Clampea. As we see here, and as we get set for the match, it looks like Seoul College is having a more of a defensive formation today as a 4-4-2 matchup against the Durham Lords, which seems like they have attacking formation of 4-3-3. We'll see how it turns out during the game. And here we go with the kickoff. Number 11 with the ball, lobs it in, defensive play by Seoul. My apologies for the college, actually Sioux College, not Seoul College, um, forgive me there. Number 18 for Durham going down the wing with the ball, with the cross, but a defensive play by Seoul, Sioux College, sorry. As they head back and regain possession, Durham down the wing. Lobs it in, tries to find Garbutt there, but couldn't really get it. Goalkeeper has it in his hand. Alessandro with the ball. Number 14 going up, Lucas with the ball, but nice defensive play by Durham. And kicks it to the, to the side over there. Throw in for Sewell College. Nice ball by Durham, switching the play, but couldn't really keep it in. Throw in on the far right side of the attacking half of Sioux College there. That was a tough header by Durham. Foul call by number 12, Jeremy Soul. No card, but a foul is given here. Free kick awarded to Sewell College. Taking it as number seven, Rashawn. He kicks it in there. Beautiful header away by the defenseman of Durham, of the Lords. Kicks it out of harm's way as our Lords defenseman there. Garvit trying to take it away from the defenseman, but another strong play by by the defenseman there for Sioux College, for the Cougars, I should say. Garrett, the Lord's goalkeeper, starting again, bringing it up to the defenseman along the left wing, coming up pretty fast there for, for the Lord's, plays it, but a little bit too strong there as there's a goal kick for the Cougars.
the goalkeeper kicks it over there. Durham regains possession, but misplays it, and there's a throw in for the Cougars here. Rashawn taking the throw. What a play by our defenseman here for the Lords. Number 12, Jeremy Sorrell. Taking it away from our Cougars there, passing it back to the goalkeeper and regain formation. The defenseman lobs it to Garvit. Garvit with the touch, but he couldn't really get it there while the keeper comes out and stops the play. That was a pretty good rush there by the Lords from the defenseman all the way to the striker. That was a good ball there, but couldn't really capitalize on that. As they fight for the ball again, it's a good attacking by the Cougars there, but our defense, the Lord's defenseman there, was just too strong to get past. Midfielder number 23, Scott, is coming up with the ball, passing it to the defensive wing. Lobs it in, but catches it. Alessandro with a good stoppage of play there and passing it straight towards the midfielders going down as a fast break, but couldn't really get past their defenseman, Paul Valery. Striker misplays it over there, and the Cougars goalkeeper grabs the ball. As you see here, the possession between the two seems to be fair, as both teams do have the ball fairly equally, trying to gain and some attack and see what they can do here. Good play by Scott heading the ball towards the midfielder and regaining possession. <clears throat> Fast break for the Loras down the left wing on the, on the field, but the defensemen for the Cougars are still are a bit too strong over there. Still attacking, couldn't really get the ball and the Cougars do kick it out of play. Ooh. It's a bit of pushing behind, but no call. Cougars still going down the wing. 14, Lucas has the ball right now. On the right side of the field. Trying to see if he can do anything as, as the Lord's defensemen are there uptight with him. Off the Cougars striker and goal kick. Defenseman on the on the far right side of the field have the ball right now, passing it to the striker there. Having on the attacking side, Lords number seven has the ball. Isaiah trying to make a play here, lobs it into the, into the into the box. Twelve has it. Ooh, but has a little bit of a hard touch. Goalkeeper Alessandro for the Cougars grabs the ball once again. Throw in for the Lords. Playing it safely to the defensive, to the defenders there. Christian who currently has the ball, passes it to the midfielder for there. Cougar defensemen come out of nowhere and taking the ball away. But the Lords regain the ball again in the attacking possession. Scott trying to make a play but couldn't get past the defenders there. The Lords still have the ball. Regaining possession back to the defenders on the far right side of the field. Switching the play. Paul Valori currently has a ball on the left side, going down the left field. Garver with the, with the ball, misplays it, gets the ball back, and he shoots. Oh, so close by the Lord striker, Garvit, who did regain possession in the box, but just couldn't capitalize. That was a close call for the Lords, almost scoring the first goal of the game, but couldn't really get a good feel of that shot there. Sorry, Garvit from the Lords, number 17, not seven.
very close call as Alessandro Cougar's goalkeeper kicks it out. Scott with a nice touch back to the def to the defenders there. Isaac with the ball passing it to his defensive wing into the midfield. Lords have the ball in attacking possessions with the shot, but uh, couldn't really get that good shot away. Again is number 17 for the Lords Carvet. With the left footer there, but wide on the right side of the goal. Making it a goal kick now. Ooh, that was a hard fall for the Lords there, trying to go over the header, but he fell down pretty hard. Slowly getting up. That was Louis Dio there that went for the header but came down crashing back first on, on the ground. The trainer is out right now talking to him to see if he's okay there. And it looks like he's coming off. So number 24 for the Lords, Louis Dio is coming off with the trainer. So substitution is going to take place here for the Lords. As it comes off the field. So play starts again there on the far left wing trying to make a play but couldn't really get the ball to their strikers, the Cougars over there, but goal kick, Garrett with the ball. Quickly playing it into his defensive there. Going down the left side is Paul Valery with the ball, but keeping possession and switching the play now. Going down the right side is a defensive wing there. Couldn't really see a body to give to, but plays it back and keeps possession of it. Passing back to Paul, down the left side, quickly passing it to its wing. Jeremy, who has it, crosses it in, headers it away, is a Cougars defenseman. Currently has it as Lucas trying to make a play for Cougars. Lords made a too much of a defensive play there, making it a, sorry, the Cougars made a hard play there, causing it a foul for Lucas. Free, free kick for the Lords here, and it looks like Paul has taken it. Number eight going on for the Lords, William Lydon, and replace, four tw and replace 424, who had that injury there in the beginning. Welcome to the pitch. That was a goal kick now for the Cougars here. Trying to make a fast break, lobbying into the attacking side for the Cougars, but really didn't get that possession of the ball, whereas Lourdes has it currently coming down on the far right side is number 21 for the Lourdes Christian, passing quickly to its striker. Lourdes just lost the ball, but he hustles back. Isaiah losing it, but regains it. Switching the play quickly. Are the Lords going down the left wing? Is Jeremy trying to make a play, but couldn't really hold it in the pitch. Making it a goal kick for Cougars.
Goal kick taken by the goalie, Alessandro. Kicking it in with a nice header by William. Number 14 of the Cougars looks like the striker of the team, Lucas, trying to make a play but couldn't really finish it. Having the shot wide. Garrett, our goal, Lord's goalkeeper, has the ball right now and quickly plays it to the defenseman to start the play again. Keeping possession of the ball are the Lords, trying to see if they can make a play quickly. Going down the left wing, trying to make a play, but couldn't really hold it in. The pitch here, throw in for the Cougars. Throwing the ball now to the Cougars. But the Lords are the ones getting possession of the ball. Still on the left side of the pitch, passing it back to the goalkeeper, Garrett. Switching the play and trying to make something work here as they're looking to get the first goal of the game. Goodell still has the ball in the middle of the pitch, switching it over to his, to his right wing. Christian there trying to make a play by lobbing it in the box but couldn't really put it on net or the strikers for the Lords. Cougars defensemen kick it away and it's the Lords throw in on the far right attacking part of the pitch. Number 21 of the Lords, Christian taking the throw and lobs it right in the middle of the box. Still there, kicks it out, the Cougars defenseman. Close call there, but didn't really get to the net as the Cougars defenseman kick it away. Passing it back to the defenseman is William. To Christian. Plays it down to, to Gar... Sorry, no. Plays it down to Isaiah, who tries to pass it down to Garvin for the Lords, but couldn't really make a play. Kicking it out of the Cougars defenseman, throwing it in is the Lords. Still has it on the far right wing of the pitch. Passing it back to the defenseman to gain a play. Lobbing it in the, in the box. Oh, with the touch, but could not finish it. Oh, it's a trip. It's a penalty shot. A penalty has been awarded by the referee, Amanda. As Aiden, the Cougar defenseman, trips the striker of the Lords, making it an penalty kick. Well, this is very interesting as this is the first penalty shot of the game. You don't really usually see this often, but number 17 for the Lords, Garvit taking it. Lords have a chance to make it a 1-0 game in the 18th minute. As he, set, as he gets set for the penalty shot, He goes, he takes it. Goal, top right corner for Garvit. Penalty kick making the game one to nothing, Lords. Again, that was Garvit Gautam for the Lords. Scoring that penalty kick awarded in the 18th minute of the match. As the game continues, Cougars kick it off. 
they try to do something to, to capitalize the game now since it's one nothing Lords on a penalty kick awarded by Amanda, our, our, our game referee today. Throw in for the Lords at their defensive side of the pitch. The midfielder passes to a striker, tries to make a play, but couldn't really do anything about that. Cougars comes up with the ball as quick as possible, but no. Goodell takes it away and switches the play quickly, going down the left side of the pitch, but passing it too strong was a defenseman there, causing it to have a throw in for the Cougars. Rashawn with the touch there in the throw in. Couldn't really make a play, but again, there's another throw in for the Cougars. Throwing it down the wing there for the striker, Lucas. Trying to make a play again, throw in on the attacking part of the Cougars pitch there. Taking the throw in for the Cougars, number four, Amin. Getting closer and closer towards their attacking side. Try to make a play with the Cougars, but couldn't really do it as there's a fast break going on for the Lords. Garvet passing it to his wing, to William, but really couldn't get the ball as the ball was a bit too hard down there, making it another throw in on the defensive side for the Cougars pitch. Throw in taken by the Cougars number 17, Aiden. Again, fans, if you're joining in, the game is one to nothing, Lords. Garvik Gauton, number 17 for the Lords. The striker scores a penalty kick awarded in the 18th minute there. So the goal was a penalty shot scored by Garvik. Coming down the left side of the pitch, crossing it to number seven of the Lords, Isaiah, but couldn't really finish it off the crossbar and out of play. Oh, what a close one there for Isaiah as he could not finish it. As he had a wide open cage, but couldn't really touch it. Header, but couldn't get it towards the net. That is called offside by our sideline official, Amin. Goal kick for the Cougars, taken by Alessandro. Shot by number eight, the Lords, ooh, just pass. The crossbar there, what a shot by William, putting it on net, but couldn't really get it under the bar there. Having the possession again is the Lord's on the defensive side. Trying to hold on to the ball and gain possession of it. Passing to the wing, lobbing it to the striker there. Lord's have the ball in the box, in the 18 yard box. Trying to make a play back to the wing. Couldn't really make a play, but a foul call against the Cougars. The far right attacking spot on the pitch for the Lord's. Number 21 for the Lords, Christian taking the free kick there. This is a good chance to maybe capitalize for the second goal of the match. Lobbing it, tries to shoot it towards the net but couldn't really get past the defenders. But the Lords still have the 
Ball again and regains possession. Lobbing it back into the box. Cougars defenseman heads it. Tries to take it away. Still in the box there. Shooting it is, is William. Couldn't really capitalize. Cougars take it away and lobs it back down. The defensive side for the Lords. As that was a really close call. The ball was rumbling around the 18-yard box in front of the goalie there. But couldn't really capitalize on it. As the Lord still has a ball. Coming down the left side of the pitch. Passing it to Gidel and coming down the middle. See if they can make a play there. Give and go. Oh. Foul call again at the top of the 18 yard box there. As there was a give and go. Between Isaiah and Scott. Hard foul for the Cougars, but one of the Cougars players are currently down. Looks like he's a bit injured, but he gets back up there. Again, there was a hard foul call on the top of the 18-yard box. Where's a free kick awarded to the Lords? Good chance to capitalize as Goodell is the one taking it. No, Garvich. Oh! Looked like Goodell was going to take the shot, but no, he didn't. Garvit did. Again, number 17 for the Lords. Garvit is the one that took the free kick and scores for another goal. Having his second goal of the match today. First off of a penalty shot, second off of a free kick at the top of the 18 yard box. What a shot. Goal for the Lords. 2 0 in the 26th minute of the match. What a fake play there on the free kick and capitalizing on it are the Lords making it a 2-0 game here this afternoon on a Sunday. Fans, if you're tuning in right now, the second goal has just been scored at the 26th minute of the game by Garvin on a free kick. Garvin from for the Lords actually scored the first goal of the game as well off of a penalty shot and scoring the second goal off of a free kick at the top of the 18-yard box there, making it a 2-0 game for the Lords. As the Lords was gaining the attacking Attacking sequence there, but offside call. Free kick for the Cougars in their defensive side. Lord trying to make a fast break. Cougars misplace the ball on the defensive side. Coming down is the field, and the right side is Isaiah, but Cougars with a strong defensive play. Oguino taking it away from our strikers for the Lords there and throw in for the Lords at the far right side of the attacking pitch for the Lords. Throwing it in is number 21, Christian. Trying to make a play here again to keep the scoring on point here for the Lords. Throwing it in in the 18-yard box by kicking it away are the Cougars defensemen. Regaining possession of the Lords, trying to see if they can attack again and maybe try to find the third goal of the match before the halftime commences. Lobbing it as the ball as defenseman, heading it but couldn't really get a touch on it. Getting it to Isaiah, but Isaiah was called offside as there is a goal kick awarded to Alessandro for the Cougars.
goal kick, but headed away is Goodell. Foul call here. Against the Cougars, so awarded to the Lords here in the middle of the pitch. No cards awarded yet by Amanda, which is a good sign here. Looks like they're playing a fair game this afternoon. Free kick taken by Isaac. Putting it in the box there. Couldn't really do anything. Number 23 for the Lords takes a shot. Hits the post. Rebound. Number 17. Garvit Galtham with his third goal of the match. Giving him a hat trick only in the 30th minute. What a play by Scott. Taking himself, shooting it on top of the 18 yard box, hitting it off the left post, and Garvit comes out of nowhere and finishes it off with a beautiful rebound, making him score his first hat trick of his career, playing for the Lords. Again is Gar Garvit coming with the ball, taking it away, lobbing it in the center, taking it away is, is the goalkeeper, but heading it in is the Lords, number 12, Jeremy Sorrell, finish, finishing it again. Making the game four to nothing. Go for the Lords in the 31st minute. Garvin with a beautiful play, taking it away from the goalie and lobbing it in the center of the six, eight yard box there. Finishing it off the rebound again is number 12, Jeremy Sorrell. Wow, two goals back to back in a minute span for the Lords, making it four nothing in the 31st minute of the match. What a play. What a goal. What a game for the Lords this afternoon. Lobbing it in, but couldn't really make a play. The goalkeeper, Alessandro, has the ball right now. Kicking it back in towards their, their attacking side. Trying to make a play here, the Cougars, as they are down 4 nothing in the 32nd minute of the match. 23 with an unbelievable play for the third goal of, their, of the game there for the Lords. Coming down with the ball, Scott, trying to make a play, but a good defensive tackle for the Cougars there. Coming up with the ball is number 14, Lucas, trying to make a play again for the Cougars, but the Lords defenseman is just too strong. Couldn't get past it. Passing it down to the left wing is number 12, Jeremy who did score the fourth goal of the match for the Lords, who currently has the ball, passes it back to its defensive wing there. Tossing it away is Alessandro, the Cougars goalkeeper, as it was high up in the air. Couldn't really catch it, but punches it away. On the far right side of the attacking pitch is the Lords. Isaiah trying to make a play, couldn't really get a hold of the ball, but still regains possession as Scott helps him out there and passes it back to their defenders, regaining possession. At the bottom left corner of the tacking pitch for the Lords, trying to make a play and going in the box, but couldn't really do anything. Still has, still fighting for the ball, both teams. Cougars kicks it out of play. Lords again has the ball again, regaining possession, lobbing it into the box, but the defenseman there kicks it away again. Regaining possession again are the Lords as they attack. Once again, trying to make a play here. The Lords are not letting the Cougars have the ball today as they're the ones having most of the possession getting closer to the end of the first half. It 
it looks like the ball is always in the in the defensive side for the Cougars, which is the Lords attacking side there. As Lords are giving it a good fight this afternoon against them, kicking it away, making it a goal kick for Alessandro. Goal kick there, given it, but headed away to the wrong person was the Cougars, lobbing it into Isaiah at the far right side of the pitch there, and couldn't really get to the ball that was, was a bit too hard, making another goal kick for Cougars goaltender, Alessandro. Hey fans, again, if you're tuning in just now, the, the score is 4 nothing for your home team, Durham Lords as Garvit Gautam, number 17 for the, for the Lords, the striker, has scored his first hat-trick ever playing, as this is his first year playing for the Lords here as a striker. It's great to see that a hat-trick has been given today. Very well earned by Gautam. Coming down the far right side of the attacking pitch for the Cougars, Trying to make a play. Still has the ball down there. But the Lord's defenseman take it away and tries to do a fast break. Going back down the Cougar end of the pitch, but the ball was a bit too hard. Grabbing it was the goalie, Alessandro. It looks like the rain has, is being stopped today as it was raining during the women's match earlier this afternoon. Durham Lords women's soccer team winning today 9-0 against Sewell College. Big scoring game as number three Sage for the women's soccer team for the Lords have also scored a hat-trick that game too, which was great to see. So it looks like the rain is gone and the sun's coming out. which is really nice to see here. Goal kick awarded to the Cougars. Taking the goal kick is the goalie himself, Alessandro. Number 12 for the Lords is coming in all by himself and he comes and he shoots and he hits the post but it still goes in. What a single effort by our very own number 12 for the Lords, Jeremy Sorrell, goal. 30th minute making his second goal of the game. What a single effort by Jeremy there. Off the left post and in. Wow, what a goal. Making the game 5 nothing for the Lords in the 38th minute. Good shot there. And still in the attacking side for the Lords, trying to make it in another goal. Number eight, Williams has the ball, but a defensive, nice defensive play there made by Cougars. It looks like there's a yellow card here, hard foul against the Lords, Jeremy, who just scored, getting his yellow, first yellow card of the game. Down is number seven for Cougars, Rashawn as he was tackled pretty hard there. And he's still down, hope he's okay. Okay. 
as we have some stoppage time here as Rashawn for the Cougars is being treated by the AT on the pitch. Again, this afternoon at 1 o'clock, the women's lower teams was playing against the women's soul Cougars, beating them 9 to nothing as they played a tremendous team game today, earlier this afternoon. Sage, number three, scoring a hat trick in that match, which is wonderful to see. Good job, women's lord soccer team here. As Rashawn for the Cougars is stepping off the pitch slowly, as it gets looked after. Free kick awarded to the Cougars in the defensive side. Lobbing it in, but the Lord's defenseman is too strong there. Regaining possession again is the Lord's. Giving it to Jeremy, who did get his first yellow card of the match about a minute ago here. Trying to attack the ball, but it's a bit of a hard touch, not getting Axes there to the attacking side, lobbing it back in to the Cougars attacking side there, but again, regains possession to the Lord's defenseman. Lord's trying to make a play, but still just keeping possession of the ball there in the defensive side. Having the ball now, the Lord trying to make a play. 23, Scott with the shot. Oh, just grazed off the crossbar there. Scott had a couple looks today. Both close calls. But this one grazing it off the top left crossbar. Good look. Great shot. Just didn't go in. Goal kick awarded to Alessandro. Kicking the ball in, but still gaining possession of the Lords. Number eight, William coming down with the ball. Jeremy has it right now with the strike. Shoots, ooh, just on top of the crossbar. Goal kick awarded to the Cougars there. As we get closer to the end of the first half, the score is the Lords five and the Cougars nil. Garvit scoring a hat trick and Jeremy scoring two goals. They are making a five nothing Lords. Lobbing it in as a goalkeeper. Heading it away. As their very own Isaac. Trying to get the ball away, but a foul call awarded to the Cougars. Taking it was Aguino, trying to pass to the striker, but it didn't really work out there. Cougars currently has the ball, trying to make a play going in their attacking side. Scott just takes it away, just like that. Tries to make a play, but still gives it a bit too hard of a pass, rolling it down to the goalkeeper, Alessandro, who currently has the ball in his hands. Kicking it down, trying to find 
I'm in there. Couldn't really keep it in. I was, it was just a bit too hard. Throwing it in for the Lords as their defenseman. Switching the play there. Are the Lords. Having the ball on the left side of the pitch are the Lords passing it away. With Scott, passing it to Isaiah, back to Scott. Over to the right wing there for Christian. Trying to make a play there. Grabs the ball, backing with a beautiful slide tackle. Passes it to Williamson, scores! Sixth goal of the game for the Lords. Beautiful give and go. Finishing off with a tic-tac-toe play there. With number eight, William, finishing it off with a knuckleball straight in the back of the net. What a passing play there for the Lords, making the game a 6 nothing game exactly at the 45th minute. Halftime call here as the Durham Lords score a whopping six goals in the first half. Just before the half ended, William number eight scoring the sixth goal of the game for the Lords. Fans, stay tuned as we wait 15 minutes for a halftime and we come right back for the next half of the match.
And we're back in action for the second half of the match. If you guys missed the first half of the match, the score is now 6 nothing, Lords. Garvit scoring three. <clears throat> Garvit scoring three goals. Jeremy scoring two. And William scoring one for the Lords in the first half there, making it 6 nothing. As we start the second half here, weather is nice now, no more rain, and we're here off for a kickoff as the Lords try to attack as quickly as they can, as they showed in the first half here. Cougars with the ball. Lords try to make a play at their far attacking left side of the pitch, passing it back to number 23 here. Scott, try to make a play. Lords still have the ball here on the far right wing. Try to make an attacking play here, back to the defensive play, just getting the possession, trying to find an opening to see if they can pass to the strike just to finish. Crossing it over, heading it out of the Cougars there, taking it out of the defensive zone. Lords already on a fast attack here against Seoul as they are leading 6 nothing, as we again start the second half of the match. Keeping possession as the Lords in their attacking side of the pitch. Coming down with the ball here is Christian, trying to make a play here, lost the ball, trying to get it back, but a good defensive play there given by Rashawn for the Cougars. Scott, 23, walks in, still has the ball there, trying to make a play, couldn't really do anything, as a nice defensive play there by the Cougars. Falling down is William for the Lords, making it a foul call against the Cougars, number 24. Sorry. Free kick awarded to the Lords. Just right exactly the center of the 18 yard box, maybe 10 yards off there. Goodell and Garvit there at the top. One of them are going to take the free kick. Let's see what they do as they did score the second goal off free kick. Goodell faked it. Garvit takes it, but right towards the net. Saved by Alessandro. Quickly playing it forward to Rashawn for the Cougars. Trying to see if he can do something with it. Heads it down there. Trips. Lords have the ball again. Christian with the play. Plays down the wing, a bit too hard for it as the goalkeeper comes out and grabs the ball. Passing it back to the, to the Lord's goalkeeper. First half, the goalie was number 13, Garrett, but now for the second half, the goalkeeper has changed for the Lord's. Jonathan comes in, number one, as a goalkeeper for the Lords for the second half. Throw in here for the Cougars. In their defensive side. A good head back by Christian to his defensive play to keep possession over there. It's pretty slick. Again, coming down the right side of the pitch, lobbing it in the middle. Couldn't really find his player, but back to the defensive side for the Lords, keeping possession again. The Cougars misplay by Christian, but the Cougars had it, but couldn't really make a play as the Lords come down the middle of the pitch, trying to make a play and lobbing it to, to the striker there for the Lords. A hard tackle. Referee giving a word for Louis Dio. As one of the Cougar defensemen is still down in the 18-yard box there. But gets up. 
walks it off and he looks like he's good to go. Free kick awarded to the Cougars. Curly has the ball as Christian, passing it to William in the middle of the pitch, lobbing it to the striker, but couldn't really get it as the goalie comes out and kicks the ball away. Regains position as the Lord's there, passing to Scott in the middle of the pitch, tries to touch it back to his player, but couldn't really do it. But Paul Val Valerie just comes out of nowhere, still has the ball, passes it back to William with a shot, but just over the crossbar. What a great play by Paul Valori there. Losing it, but takes it back and passing it to William, but just above the crossbar and couldn't capitalize as his a goal kick is awarded for the Cougars. Hey fans, if you're coming and joining us right now, the score is six nothing for the Lords here as we are about 10 minutes, sorry, we're about five minutes in the second half of the match. As Garvit, number 17, scores a hat-trick during the first half, making his first hat-trick of season, as this is his first season playing for the Lords here, which is really great. The women's match earlier today at 1 o'clock against Sewell College did beat them 9 to nothing. Again, the women's Durham Lords team did beat them 9 to nothing there. Sage, number three on our team, on the Lord's team, did score a hat-trick too, which was very nice to see. Good all around. Lord's currently has possession of the ball here, and, and they're attacking side of the pitch. Again, it's Paul Villery on the far left wing making plays, and looks like doing things himself. Tries to cross it in, but a defensive play made by the Cougars making it a corner kick for the Lords, as we didn't see those often. As the Lords take a corner kick on the left side of their attacking side of the pitch. It looks like Christian is the one taking the corner here. He takes the corner and the keeper comes out and grabs the ball. Trying to make a quick transition for a fast break. Passes it to his striker, Rashawn there. Couldn't really get to him as it was a bit too far. Having the Lords' as defensemen regaining possession of the ball. Coming down the field. With the ball with Scott, he still has the ball there. Defenseman with the ball here, trying to make a play. Couldn't really capitalize, touching it away where the Cougars throw in for the Lords. Try to make a play there with a nice one two play. Going to the goalkeeper, Alessandro, though, who has the ball and currently kicks it to a striker. Cougar striker number 14, Lucas, has a ball, but just stolen away by Goodell, making a play to his wing. Cougars and the Lords fighting for the ball, gaining possession. Are the Lords, actually. William to Scott in the center. They are passing it to the left wing. Trying to make a play, but the Cougars defenseman takes it away. in the Lord's defensive side of the pitch, trying to regain possession of it. Successfully does. He's trying to make a fast break up the pitch to Goodell, who currently has a ball. 
passing it away. Scott has the ball currently passing it back to its defensive man there. Caleb trying to make a fast break down to the far right side of the pitch. Coming down with the ball is Christian there. Making a play, knocking out of bounds is are the Cougars. Looks like it's a throw in at the far right corner for the Lords. Lobbing it in the 18 yard box, giving it to Williams, shooting it. No, offside call. Great play by the Lords, but looks like William was caught being offside there. No goal, and goal kick award to the Cougars. The Cougars trying to make a play. Caleb with a good defensive header, getting it back. Good play by Caleb there to get, regain possession of the ball. Passing it to Scott, who currently has the ball, but kind of loses control of it. But rolls back to the Lord's defensive man, regaining possession. Going on the left side, the far left side of the Lord's attacking side there. Lobbing it over to the other side. Couldn't really find anybody, but Christian comes up with the ball. Passes it to Goodell. Try to make a play, but the Cougar defenseman is a bit strong there. Coming up with the ball. With a fast break for the Cougars. Trying to see if he can do anything as it's just him by himself. Number 17, Aiden. Was trying to do it, but couldn't really get past the Lord's defenseman there. Christian with the ball in the right wing of the attacking side. Off our Lord's attacker. And throw in awarded to the Cougars. Fans, just to let you know, on the weekend of the, of the 26th of, of, of October, October 26th to the 29th, the Durham Lords are hosting the Women's Soccer Championships, the OCAA Championships this year. This is going to be a huge event hosted by us. Again, it's from October 26th, 2029th, as we host the Women's Soccer Championships, which would be a very exciting moment as we get to see that. Looks like one of uh, the Lord's players are down. Number 17 for the Lord's Garvit limping off the field. It's a bit of a stoppage time here. Looks like number ten for looks like number ten for the Lord Skyler Gray coming on in replacement of Garvit. As it seems he was a bit injured there. Again, number ten for the Lords coming on the pitch for Garvit in the fifty eighth minute. Replacing him as, as Garvit is injured at the moment. Having possession of the ball is the Lords here. Getting the ball back as the Cougars, trying to make a play here, coming up with the ball. Passing it down on their far right side of, the attacking, of their attacking side. Lucas, who currently has the ball, is trying to make a play for the Cougars, crossing it in, but couldn't keep it in play as a goal kick is awarded for the Lords. Again, fans, if you weren't here for the first half, 
Number 13, Garrett was the Lord's goalkeeper. Now to change as number one, Jonathan is a goal, is in goal for us for the second half. Having possession of the ball are the Lords here, making their way up their attacking side slowly but surely. Trying to make a play to Skyler, but we're just a bit too far. Skyler's reach there. Alessandro, the Cougars goalie, who has it and just kicks it down. Caleb, 22, for the Lords. Trying to make a play back to the goalie, back to Caleb, going down the field again. What a small tic tac play with Caleb and the goalkeeper, Jonathan. Keeping in play was Christian. That was a good place for us not to be a throw in there. Given away by the Cougars. Lords currently have the ball. Trying to make a play, but kicked away. By Aguino. Scott, 23, coming down with the ball on the left side, trying to make a play, makes a pass to Skyler in the center, tries to shoot it, defensive play by the Cougars and kicks it away. What a single effort by Scott, number 23 for the Lords, who tries to make a play to Skyler but couldn't really finish it, as the Lord still has possession of the ball. William currently has it on the far right side of his attacking side, comes around with the ball, currently has it, Still has the ball on the top of the 18-yard box. Falls, no call by the ref. The game still continues as the Lords do have possession of the ball. Still in the attacking side. As it crosses it in the middle with the tip. Oh, just missed. As a beautiful cross for the Lords. Louis Dio, number 24. Tries to cross to Jeremy as he just missed. But Lord still has possession in their attacking side, trying to make a play as the defenseman number 18, Paul Valerio, crosses it, but J Cougars just kicks it out again. Wow, what pressure given by the Lords here, down halfway into the second half. Tries to make a play there, but the goalkeeper comes out and catches the ball. Wow, that was a good two minutes of hard attack by the Lords. Couldn't capitalize, but very good chances for sure. Lords has a ball on their defensive side. Coming up with the ball is, is Christian there. Tries to make a play, but gives it away. Back to the Lord's defenseman, Caleb, who currently has the ball. Coming up with the ball is Caleb to Scott. Scott looking around to see if anyone's open. He tries to find Skyler there. He goes for it, still keeps it in play. The far left side, far left attacking side, still has the ball. Good pressure given by the Cougars defenseman. But still, the Lords still have the ball there, have to keep possession, passing it to Scholar. Scholar currently has the ball. But no. The one-two play with Scholar and Goodell turned out to be offside. Awarded goal kick for Alessandro, the goalkeeper of the Cougars. Looks like there's a substitution. Number 20 and number 14 for the Lords are going in. Luca and Evan going in the pitch in the 64th minute of the game. Again, number 20, Luca, and number 14, Evan coming into the pitch for the Lords. Curly has possession of the ball. It's the Lords here, Goodell, playing it towards William. William coming up with the ball, still has it, but loses it as the Cougars defenseman take it away. 
Lucas for the Cougars coming up with the ball on the far right side of his attacking side. Tries to cross it to August, but it was too far away from him. Currently, Lords have the ball. Scott, who was a huge player today at today's game, making great plays, tries to make a play there. Crossing it in is the Lords, heading it away are the Cougars, making it a corner kick for the Lords. Corner kick awarded for the Lords on their far right side of their attacking, far right attacking side there. Taking the corner kick, kicked away by Cougars. Keeping it in is the Cougars. Good play, but keeping it in to not award the Lords a throw in. But again, the Lords take it away and still has possession. Lobbing it to Schuyler. Tries to head it towards William. But couldn't really get to him. It looks like there's another corner awarded for the Lords. Number 21, Christian. Looks like he's going to take it. Taking corner kick in their far left attacking side. Lobby getting in. Goalie comes out, punches it away. Tries to shoot it, but missed was Luca. But again, the Durham Lords still have possession of the ball. Luca lobbing it in to William, who currently has possession, but the Cougars defenseman kicks it away. With Luca still has the ball on the right side of the pitch there. Trying to make a play, crosses it in, passes the defenseman. William with the shot missed. Scott with the shot missed. Two good saves by Alessandro, the Cougars goalie. As that could have easily been another goal for the Lords, but no stops it away. Another corner kick awarded on the far left attacking side for the Lords. Christian, number 21, taking it again. Corner kick taken. Headed away by Cougars, but still around the top of the 18-yard box there. Makes a play, lobs it in, punches it away by Alessandro, the goalkeeper. Heads it, but catches it. Good play by the goalie for Cougars there. By getting the ball. Tries to make a fast break up to Lucas, but couldn't really find him for the Cougars. Regaining possession now are the Lords. Trying to make another attack. Looks like that was a handball call against the Cougars. Free kick award on the left side of the pitch for the Lords. Making a play, lobbing it in, headed away, and kicked away by the Cougars. Wow, what a play there on the free kick. Couldn't really capitalize, but the Lord still has possession of the ball here. Lobbing it in, it was Christian. Couldn't really find his teammate there, but still has a ball. Cougars regained possession of the ball, trying to come up with it. it was number 21 for the Cougars, Roberto. So 
a small foul call there by the, against the Lords. Taking it is Aiden, on the defensive side for the Cougars. Lobbing it a win, kicking it away was Luca for the for the Lords. Ooh, good play by number 11, Goodell, who currently still has a ball and switching it over to an open wing there for Paul Valerio, passing it to its wing, crossing it in, kicked away by Cougars, who gains possession of it. The Lords steal it again as they come up with the ball. Trying to create a player, the Lords, at the top of the 18-yard box here, William passing it back to Goodell, lobbing it in for Scala, couldn't find him, headed her way by the Cougars. Still has it in the Lord's attacking side there, switching the play was Goodell. Back to Paul Valerio on the far left side of the pitch. Coming down the wing to Schuyler, playing it, crossing it. Trying to make a play there was Schuyler, the Lord's striker, but kicked away by the Cougars defenseman, causing it a corner kick for the Lords. It looks like there's a couple substitutions for the Lords. Couple substitutions again here for the Lords. Number 25 is going on the pitch, Anthony Baris. And number 15 is going on, Sean Allen. Again, couple substitutions for the Lords, number 15 and 25 respectively. Anthony and Sean going in. Corner kick is being taken currently by Christian. Taking it, kicked away by the Cougars. Regaining possession of the ball is the Lords defenseman. He kicks it and tries to find a strike. Good look, but just off the left post there by Paul Valerio. Hey fans, if you're just tuning in right now for the men's soccer match here at Vasil's Field in Oshawa, at the 72nd minute of the match, the Lords are winning 6 nothing, as all the goals scored was during the first half. Cougars with a goal kick, but the Lords take possession of it, lobbing it to number 15 there for the Lords, but no offside call. Goal kick award to Alessandro for the Cougars. Fans, if you weren't here for the women's game, the women's Lords against Seoul College Women's Lords game, they won nine to nothing with number three, Sage, scoring a hat trick. First hat trick of the season for her. So that was really good to see there. Again, Women's Durham Lords soccer team has won nine nothing against Seoul College earlier today at one o'clock. Taking the free kick there was a goalie for the Cougars, Alessandro. Couldn't really find a striker as Jonathan, our new goalkeeper for the second half, tries to make a play. Lord's coming up the ball, up the pitch, sorry. Tries to make a play to the winger but couldn't really get to it. But 24 who lost it, Louis Dio, still has a ball somehow. He's tried to look for a call as he, he was fouled out, but Amanda, the game referee for this afternoon, did not make the call there, and the game continues. As the Lords come up slowly from their defensive to the attacking side here, trying to make a play. The Lords, who has it on the far right side of the pitch, tries to cross it in there. Cougars kick it out. 
regaining possession is the Cougars trying to make a play just to go to the attacking side, but couldn't really as 24, Louis Dio just stops the play. As the ball heads down on the far left attacking side for the Lords. Throw in for the Cougars. Lords have the ball in their defensive side. Caleb switching the play to Luca. Curly has the ball. Gets away from one Cougar. Passes it to Scott in the center. Tries to make a play, then go around the Cougar defender, but couldn't. But he still tries to fight to get the ball back. And Scott still fighting for it. But Cougars still remain possession of the ball. As Rashawn hasn't misplayed it, but has it back for the Cougars. Coming up with the ball was, is Rashawn for the Cougars. Passing it up to Lucas. Passing it back to Rashawn who shoots. But it was a bit too short. As Jonathan, the goalkeeper for the Lords for the second half, gets the ball and gives it away. Lords have the possession on the far left side. Coming down all the way from the defensive side was Paul Valerio all the way from the defensive to the attacking side and creates a foul call against the Cougars. At the very top left corner of the 18-yard box is awarded a free kick for the Lords. Chance to make it a seven-goal game. It looks like Skyler, the striker for the Lords, is about to take it. He does take it, but the wall of the Cougars take it away. Good strong play for the Cougars as they form a strong wall there to block the shot or the free kick given to the Lords. Still has possession of the Lords though. Scott has the ball and he shoots, but wide. Fans, we just want to give a huge shout out to our women's Durham Lords women's rugby today as they play two games, one against St. Lawrence and the other against Algonquin, winning both games 34 to nil against St. Lawrence and 45 to nil against Algonquin. Go Lords, go. Foul call here to award for the Cougars. Taking the free kick is uh, Tomas for the Cougars there. Lord's having possession right on top of the 18 yard box. The Skyler are trying to shoot. Taken away by the Cougars defenseman, but still has it close to the six yard box shot, but right to the side of the of the net. A quick rush there for the Lords, but couldn't capitalize as a shot hits the side of the net, awarding a goal kick for Alessandro. Again, fans, Durham is happy to host the Women's Soccer Championships this year on October 26th to the 29th. So all fans come out and support your women's Durham Lord soccer team as they head to win the championship. Schuyler coming down quickly with the ball, shoots it, saved by Alessandro. What a quick rush by Schuyler there, but a good save by the goalkeeper of Cougars. As a corner kick is awarded for Durham.
German Lord takes a corner kick on the far left side of their attacking side. Putting it in, punching it away is Alessandro, the goalkeeper for Cougars, regaining possession of the Lords, trying to find if they can find a little opening to score their seventh goal of the game, currently 6 nothing. Tries to take a shot with the Lords there, but saved by Alessandro. Fans, I just want to give a huge shout out to Grace Hearns from the women's softball team and Tyler Chung for the men's baseball team for the Lords for being awarded the first athletes of the week announced this week. So congrats to Grace Hearns of the women's softball team and Tyler Chung of the baseball team for the Lords as they are the first athletes of the week. Let's go kick awarded here to the Cougars. Taking it as the defenseman. But just passing it to the goalkeeper there. Trying to make a player of the Cougars. Are they in the, are they, they're in the middle of the pitch. By taking it away strong by Louis Dio. Giving it to Anthony there. Coming down with the ball on the far left side of the pitch is a defenseman giving to Scott. Tries to make a pl quick play to Evan, but couldn't really find him there. Breezy takes a shot off the left post. Wow, what a shot. By Anthony Breeze as he had a huge look, but the left post just denies him. Good shot there by the Lords, as it was goalie was surprised by that one. Currently still has possession of the ball here though, are the Lords. Scholar giving it down, passing it to the wing, shooting it, crossing it, but kicking it away are the Cougars. But still around the 18 yard box, the Lords just fighting away, trying to score their seventh goal of the game. Shot off the right side of the post by Louis Dio. Wow. First it was number 25, Anthony Breeze on the left post. And then it was Louis Dio, 24 for the Lords on the right post. Denying both of them. Good action here for the Lords as they keep, it, keep on attacking. Still has possession of the ball though, are the Lords. Trying to find an opening to see if they can get another shot in here. Throw in awarded for the Lords. The Lords has the ball coming up on the left side, attacking again. Trying to cross it, but couldn't find anybody. Couldn't really keep it in play. Was Luca there, awarding a throw-in for the Cougars. Oh, quick foul call against the Cougars here. Oh, it looks like a yellow card is being awarded. A yellow card is awarded to number seven for the Cougars, Rashawn. As a referee, didn't like that at all. Taking the free kick was Evan there, 
Trying to make a play, but kicked out for the by the Cougars defenseman. And the throw-in is awarded for the Lords. The Lords trying to make a play there, but off the Cougars defenseman. Looks like a corner kick is awarded for the Lords on the far right side of the pitch. Taking a short corner to Scott there, making a play, crossing it in. Kicked away by the Cougars, but another corner is awarded to the Lords. Lords taking the corner, but kicked away by the Cougars defenseman there. Logging back in is the Lords, but safely catching it is Alessandro, the goalkeeper for the Cougars. Fans, as there is five minutes left of the match here. The score is now 6 nothing for the Lords. All six goals being scored during the first half of the game. Garvit, number 17 for the Lords striker, scoring a hat-trick today, which is great to see as it's his first hat-trick as a Lord. Shooting it and trying to find a look again was Anthony Breeze, but safe, safely saved by Alessandro. Having the ball now, the Lords in the attacking side, coming up with the ball fairly quickly. Ooh, pushing it away. No foul call. That was, that was a hard push against the Cougars, but the referee still keeps the play going. Scott currently has the ball, passing it to the wing, but no offside call. That was a close call there, but offside given as Cougars take the kick in their defensive side. Fans, I just want to give a huge shout out to our Durham Lords women's rugby team as they are currently at Etobicoke playing a few games. The first game, they beat St. Lawrence 35-0. The second game, they beat Algonquin 45-0. And the third game, they beat Humber 42-0. Sweep after sweep after sweep for the women's rugby team. Go, Lords, go. As there's a few minutes remaining in the last half of the match, the Lords are still attacking, trying to find their seventh goal of the game, kicked away by the Cougars. Lord's trying to find an opening there, but kicked away again are the Cougars. Still trying to attack and find their seventh goal of the game. 
trying to look for plays. Gets a good look on the shot there, but just wide. Ladies and gentlemen, as the game is blown, the final whistle has been blown by the referee, Amanda. The final score is 6 Durham, 0 Sioux College. What a great match today. As again, number 17 for the Lord scored the hat trick in the first half. As all the goals scored, in fact, was during the first half of the game. Thanks again, fans, for coming out today to watching the match and cheering on the Durham Lords facing off the Sioux 